So I've tried that reading strategy, ignoring the passage at first and jumping right into specific questions for the SAT as well. Uh, but sometimes I struggle getting the evidence questions with the quotes, since the quotes can come from all over the place. Yeah, so the two-part questions, the command of evidence questions, this is SAT talk, this is not ACT. Uh, those two-part questions, we could do a whole lesson on those. But typically with those, if the range of lines is narrow, so let's say, again, we're talking SAT here. Let's say your range of lines, A, B, C, D, let's say it's 3 to 6, 7 to 10, 11 to 15, 20 to 21. Like this is a pretty narrow range of lines where you know the answer is somewhere in this chunk. And probably this question will appear towards the beginning of the set anyway. So like this is pretty natural to do in that flow. Like if your first couple paragraphs go from, you know, line 1 to 21, then you're just focusing on these paragraphs to get the answer to this and therefore the answer to the part one question. So I think if the range of lines in those two part questions is narrow, it's not too bad. The problem that you're identifying is, yeah, on some of them, the range is really wide. So you might see three to six, 11 to 15, 38 to 40, and then 76 to 77. And so here you've got such a wide range of lines that it's yeah, the, reading from three to 77 to get the answer does not seem feasible. What I recommend for these actually, when the, when the range is wide, uh, they're more like general questions. So with any general question, we leave them to the end of the passage. So I recommend for these, leave them to the end of the passage, skip them, they're not really specific. Then when you're, you finished everything else, come back to them and, zoom in on those line sets and see which of those line sets give you a clue to help you answer the question. So it's kind of two different species. You've got the narrow, you've got the narrow evidence questions. Those I think you can do in the moment, in the flow. And then you have the wide range. And those I think you need to skip and come back to later because those are hard to do it with the strategy that we're talking about here. I mean, I think they're sort of hard to do no matter the strategy. But certainly with our strategy, it's not ideal. But for them, I just skip them. I do them later at the end.